Um, this is what happens when you take matters into your own hands. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen, and today we are going to be making more dump dinner. Well, we're making a dump dinner from the Dump Dinner Cookbook by Miss Kathy Mitchell. Um, last one turned out okay, so we're gonna see. We're gonna, we're gonna try our hand today at meatloaf casserole. Let's see here. Um, now, the first ingredient here is one pound of cooked ground beef which uh, I've already cooked. I'm, uh, I'm ready to go. I'm living my best dump dinner life. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna just be like Mama Kathy and just keep some cooked meat in my fridge all the time. So, cooked ground beef. And then we got two cans of condensed cream of mushroom soup is what the recipe calls for. Uh, that will not fly in my household. So I am going to try this cream of potato soup, which was the closest creamy vegetable soup that I thought would go with this dish. So hopefully that will work. One packet of Lipton onion soup mix, two tablespoons of butter, just half a cup of milk, and two cups of instant mashed potato flakes. So first thing that we need to do is preheat our oven, got it going, and then we're gonna start constructing this casserole. All right, so now we preheat the oven, we are going to lightly grease our two quart casserole dish with some cooking spray. Lightly. And now we add our ground beef. Together with your cream of potato soup. Uh, well, the recipe actually says mushroom, but you know, we talked about that. Both cans of condensed soup and your packet of onion soup mix. All that goes in there. All right, and then take one can, uh, empty can, add hot water into it, and we're gonna add one can of water to our mix here. All right, there's that. Now let's stir, stir, stir. This is uh, very Midwest, in my opinion. Like casseroles, I mean, I grew up eating a lot of casseroles. I'm, I'm cool with them. I've made a lot of casseroles for my kids. They're, they're not so cool with them. But yeah, this is, reminds me of like a very Midwest or like, you know, big, church family type of meal this whole book is just I don't know is Kathy Mitchell Mormon does she is she Mormon it make it make a lot of sense if she was with all the recipes anyway all right so that's that next step we need to heat up our other can of soup water um and add our milk to it and we add the Oh, and the butter. I'm gonna let that start to heat up before I add my potatoes to it because I don't want it to get gummy and gross. So once that's starting to get heated up, we'll add our potato flakes to it. All right, so our potatoes are hot. Now the two cups of flakes to the water that she said to put in there and uh, that's a very, some very thick taters. So I'm gonna add a little bit more, add a little bit more water to that. You don't want them runny, uh, but you do want to be able to spread them out because you're supposed to, in the next step, put the the beef mixture in the pan here, and then spread the potatoes on top. And if uh, there's just a big old lump, you can't really spread them out. Mm, better. I'm still gonna add more water. The one thing that uh, Mama C, that's what I'm calling her. She's no longer Miss Kathy. We're close. Mama C. Forget to tell you, it's not salt and pepper. You don't 
of bland potatoes. Your meat mixture here probably has plenty of seasoning from that uh, lifting sauce. Okay, that looks spreadable. Now this is gonna go into the oven for like half an hour, so more water will evaporate from your potatoes. Let's taste those. Mmm, just a pinch more salt and we're good to go. Alright. So let's dump this in here. potatoes on top kind of in like lumpy sections it's like your potatoes are almost floating on top of your meat mixture so you don't want to like dump it on the middle because then you won't be able to spread it out without making a big old mess Try to spread it to the edge. Oops. Hit the tripod while you're doing that. All right. Now we're going to put this in the oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, for about 30 minutes until your potatoes are nice and browned. At least that's what the book says. So cross our fingers. See you in half an hour. Um, this is what happens when you take matters into your own hands and then walk away. This had been in for about 25 minutes. Potatoes were not browning. I was like, ah, just throw the, uh, the broiler on, throw it under the grill, whatever, whatever you call it, wherever you live. And then I got distracted by a question from one of my children and my potatoes burned. Mama C did not say to put it under the broiler, so... That is all on me, but luckily I won't have brown potatoes, but I also won't have burnt potatoes. They're just very top layer, very top layer. So we're gonna peel this off. Ew. Ew. Hot. And ew. Do uh do not do not turn the bar over on. Have faith in Mama C. Mama Kathy, but not do you wrong. Okay, so done with that. Now we're gonna grab a plate, mm, maybe a bowl, maybe some kind of eating vessel, and we're gonna try this out. All right, so I'll make sure we get some potato. Oh no, don't go to and some of the good stuff underneath. It's more like a shepherd's pie, really, than like a meatloaf casserole in my opinion all right so it is hot like lava as you can see from all of this steam um i think i'm gonna wait just a few minutes before i give you all my my opinion it it doesn't look great it doesn't it smells pretty good it does not look great that is the one thing i could say for this book so far is that the, the meals are not very visually appealing but you know casseroles usually aren't so meh we'll give it to her all right let's give this a shot try a little bit of the filling a little bit of potato oh dear baby lord jesus please don't let me burn my mouth hmm it's not too hot um it's okay it's not bad it's nothing special I went like right home about it, but it was quick. Satisfying. It's good comfort food. It's got good flavor. Not complex flavor, but you know, flavor. For like a 35 minute meal, it's actually not bad. Hmm. Thumbs up. I liked it. If you liked the video, um, hit the thumbs up button and uh, share it with all your friends. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe. Click that little bell icon that way you know every time i upload a video and if you want to see more videos 
from Mama C. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you guys later. Bye.